Good morning everyone, um, as you know I've been flying the JGRC X9 Heron around now for quite a while and in response to a couple of requests I'm now doing a specific video on how to set this drone up and calibrate the gyros and the GPS which is very much similar to what's in the instruction manual. Okay, so first of all um, what I need to point out is I'm not wearing any jewellery uh, and I don't have my watch. Try and do this setup as far away as you can from any metal objects including fences and concrete or still reinforced concrete and certainly cars. Okay, so to begin with I'll turn on the transmitter and you see the lights here have gone green. Okay, so you know you've turned on the drone with that awful beeping sound. Okay, so those red lights there indicate it's calibrating itself. Uh, these are the lights that are gathering GPS information. And whilst we're waiting for that to um, to perform, uh, to calibrate itself, we're going to go into the settings on your phone. This is a Nokia 5. Uh, I also use a Nokia 7, which is just about as good. Straight away, the Wi-Fi has picked up the controller, which is the Wi-Fi signal generated from this transmitter. Okay. Okay, so in the, for this phone, this particular phone, I forget that. I'm going to go back it down into it again. Okay, and I can confirm that that's okay, so I can just come out there. Okay, and I've waited for my notification. I've now got my notification, so I can go into the Enjoy Fly app. And we're just waiting for that to come up. Okay. Uh, the app has now come up and it gives us a warning there to say it's under remote controller control. So press close on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate the gyros. Okay, so it's all calibrated. And the next important thing we need to do is calibrate the compass. Okay, so in order to calibrate the drone, we just follow the instructions on the app. Okay, so we'll take the drone. You really need to do this uh, a meter above above the ground. Either rotating it left or right doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's calibrated. We can now come out of there and we're just waiting for the GPS now to gather enough satellites in order to fly. Uh, now I've only got seven satellites at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's very cloudy here so that's probably affected it quite a bit. So those green lights are still it's still flashing away so it's still calibrating it's still gathering its GPS data um, I believe if my memory serves me right when it has got enough uh, satellites these, red, these uh, lights here will turn blue um, so I think I think we need at least 11 I believe I'll try and take off but I don't think it will No, uh, it's not taking off because we need, I think it's 10 or 11 satellites to take off. So, all in all, that is a setup guide in order for the calibration or the GPS calibration of the X or the JJRC X9. It looks as though you need a minimum of eight 
satellites in order to uh, fly this drone. Uh, I've tried to uh, initialize the motors on seven and without going into altitude mode, I, I couldn't do that. So you need a minimum of eight satellites in order to um, get the drone flying under GPS. So there we go, we have it flying, it's got a minimum of eight, eight satellites. Uh, slightly bumpy landing, but I, th I think you get the uh, gist of it there. Um, according to my experience, you need um, it wouldn't fly under seven satellites, and um, you need a minimum of eight. So uh, there you go, quick up there. Uh, any problems? Give me a, um, a notification in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.